as a political aspirant, once you've identified the right party for your campaign, whether you've settled for UDA or ODM, the next course of action will be to ensure that you win the party ticket. And so the question today is this, how do you win a party ticket or primary? Step one of winning a party primary is not campaigning. Step one of winning a party primary is not fundraising. The very first step is obtaining the blessing of your party leader. I repeat, if you want to win any party ticket, whether it's a ticket for MCA, MP, Senator, Women Rep, or Governor, the journey starts with the party leader. So make sure you set up a meeting with your party leader. And I know most of you are already thinking that it's impossible to sit down with the party leader because probably you're a nobody or you think they don't have the time. But it's actually very easy. All you have to do is get in touch with your party leader through social media. Message them on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, email, or even their website's landing page. And as you message them, make sure you are providing value. That's the catch. Let them know that you're a party member and that you want to give them a gift for the good work they have been doing. Acceptable gifts for most of this leader comprise of cows, goats, and money. I assure you, if you indicate there is something you are handing over, you'll be given a location, a date, and an appropriate time to see them. In fact, it's a tradition. Most party leaders set Friday aside for meetings because after just three hours of meetings, they have around 10 million shillings in their pockets, some 10 cows, and expensive gifts such as watches here and there. So make sure the party leader and his team know that you're bringing value to the table. In fact, in this image, you can see Moses Kuria, who is a CS, giving Raila Odinga a goat as he visited him to his own homestead. And that's a CS, mind you. So you can't go empty-handed. You must make sure to bring something to the table. Now, moving along, once a date has been set and you go meet with your party leader, there are three things I need you to do. Number one, if you're a man, ensure you wear a full suit, something like what I have. And in addition to that, add a scarf for the party and a cap branded with party colors if you are a lady you can just do a nice official suit and a scarf for the party although it's acceptable you can do a cap if you're not wearing any wig or something like that but don't wear a t-shirt which says mohammed ali for mca that is not professional and you look desperate just a suit and a party cap and a party scarf that's it why is this dress code important it is important because it brands you as a candidate because every other person you will meet in that particular vicinity will be in a suit just like you. So by branding yourself different, it gives you mileage. And that brings us to the second thing that you need to do in that particular meeting. Now, the second thing I highly suggest you do is request for a photograph with a party leader. This should come at the end of the meeting. Please make sure this image is captured on your device. If the party leader's PA is the one who took the photo on his phone, it will be impossible to obtain it later. So use your own device and do not take a selfie. If possible, hand it over to someone else to take the image for you. Now, why is that picture important? It is important because it creates the assumption that you've been endorsed by the party leader. In fact, when you leave that meeting, share that picture with all your social media platforms and most importantly, all WhatsApp groups of the party. Trust you me, when your opponents see it, they will begin to sense defeat. And some will even begin to call the race rigged because they are sensing that you've already been endorsed by the party leader. And it will work in your favor in the long run because not only your opponents will sense that you've received an endorsement, but assuming you win the primary, even in the long run, the voters who support that party leader will also rally behind you. That image is very, very important. Don't just do a cutout of yourself and a cutout of the party leader and you bring it together through Photoshop. People are not fools. They understand that and they know what it is. Use an actual photograph. Now, there's another type of candidate that we have out there, the elites. This consists of billionaires or multi-millionaires. For this class of aspirants, I recommend that they make a second offer as soon as they meet with the party leader. The first offer was to secure a meeting. Now, once you're inside the meeting, offer a deal to the party leader depending on the seat you are campaigning for. For instance, if you want the direct ticket for governor of Nairobi and you are willing to pay 50 million in cash for the same, Nine out of ten times, the party leader will agree. I usually advise my clients that if you are wealthy, don't waste your time or mine. Let us save time by obtaining a direct ticket. Now, this should not dishearten aspirants who don't have loads of cash just sitting around, even if you don't have the means to obtain a direct ticket. That meeting will still be a very big plus for you because assuming you obtain favor with your party leader via the meeting, even if you fail in the primaries, you might be called and given another position. Edwin Sifuna lost the ODM party primaries of Kandui and he was called by Raila and given a direct ticket to contest for Nairobi senator. So build a relationship with your party leader 
the deputy party leader and even the SG if you can. If all these three men like you, you'll have a very easy time in that party. So step one of winning a party primary is not even campaigning. There are people who win a party primary without setting foot on the ground. They go there and they obtain a direct ticket. You save time. That is the first thing that you should go for. And once you see that that is not really possible, that is when we move to phase two of how you can obtain the party ticket. Now, in the next video, I'll be telling you what you can do to win the party primaries and be the candidate that's holding the ticket as we head into elections, assuming you are not in a position to obtain a direct ticket or the party leader will not tolerate such kind of a scenario. And also, it's not every party leader that you give such offers. We usually do assessment. There are parties which are full of conmanship. They will take even 100 million from you and give the gubernatorial ticket to somebody else. So the integrity of the party really, really matters. I have been in several parties and I can assure you the filth in politics is knee deep. You need to know who you are dealing with before you even start offering money for a direct ticket or even just to have a sit down with the party leader. There are some parties which I'll just tell you ignore don't even look for that party leader go to the ground direct or change the party completely but those are things we can discuss later what i usually say the winners of 2027 elections are not going to be made in 2027 they're going to be made as early as 2024 2024 2025 2026 you need to be having strategies which are working for you on the ground 2027 you're just coming to clear and forward you're not starting the process. So if you're a candidate and you know you need some help to gain traction, kindly get in touch with us as early as now. I will not be accepting any client or candidate as of January 2027 because that is just somebody who is coming late and they want to ruin our reputation. We want to work with people who we know can get there, not people who can just give us some money alongside a very poor and a very bad result. Those are things no one wants on their CV. Now having said that guys, you can uh, look out for the next episode on how to win a party primary. I'll be debuting it not too far from today. Now having said that, adios.